Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my shop my stash and Jules, hi Jules if you're watching, has kept me honest lately. I find her comments so helpful. So I'm making a point to mention that a shop my stash series, if you're not already aware of it, is basically, you know the way if you're into makeup and all you see is buy, 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 buy and yeah, that's fine if you're into it. But then you kind of sometimes can forget about what you already have. So this series is just about going through your collection and putting stuff out to get some use out of. So I have a little basket over here that I keep the products that I've picked to work on for usually it's two weeks. And I put it in this basket and keep it on my desk and I use it all the time along with stuff that I'm trying to finish up. So the products here, I'm going to put them away first. These are the ones that I was working on the last time. And then after that, let's go and get some new things to work on. So anyway... Let's, I've rearranged my entire drawer setup, which you'll see in a while. So let's just get into it. Okay, so for foundation, I was actually working on this Laura Mercier one. I pulled this in. This is the Flawless Lumiere Iridians Perfecting Foundation. And it was in the shade, shade 2C1 Ecru. Guys... Look how much I've used of this. Obviously, this is not in the last two weeks that I've used this. But all of my foundations are now from the year... The oldest is 2020. July is the oldest. So this one I got this year in 2021 and I've used this much of it so far. This is my deepest. I originally was using it to mix. And now I've been using it on its own because it's matching with my fake tan. So I actually really like this foundation. It is thicker. It's very, very expensive. It's closer to full coverage than anything else, but it is a nice finish. I'm looking at my face now. I actually forgot to set my face with any powder and it is kind of matte. It's not full matte, but it's not dewy. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. It's very, very expensive though, but I'm actually going to leave this out because it's the only thing that matches me right now. Then for powder, for powder, I had in this Sexy Mama Translucent Press Powder. There's 7.08 grams and it's from The Balm. I don't know when I got this, guys. I know I got it, I think I got it when I was living in Kildare. So that was in either 2020 or 2019 is when I bought this. And here it is here. I'm obviously at my deepest right now. There is a little bit of a white cast with it, but I've been using it to kind of take away some oil. Haven't been using it that much because I haven't really been leaving the house that much, but I'm glad it got some use and that's gonna go back into my drawer. Okay, what else is in this drawer? Primers. I had in the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This one isn't the full size. This is the 15 mil one. I like this. It comes out kind of orangey. It's a little bit, it's similar to the texture of the new Banana Bright Serum. It's a similar texture to that. It is a brightening, it kind of brightens and leaves a bit of a glow. It's similar to a brightening moisturizer. I don't know, I like it. I like it. I've been using it, even though I'm weird, even though I'm sweating a lot, I still feel like I'm dehydrated, even though I drink piles of water, but this is nice. I put it in a certain areas on my face, not all areas, just because it does give a bit of a sheen. It doesn't make you wet, sweaty look, and it just gives you a bit of a sheen. Concealers, the last time you saw, I had three concealers left in my collection, two regular ones and this potted one and the, none of them matched me this is the one that works the most sorry about my skin guys i had a botched hand job i need a new mitt i tried washing the mitt to see if that will help but it kind of leaked through and got on my hand even though i like after i tried washing my hand but no joy so this is the boeing industrial strength concealer in number one i got this from elaine thank you so much elaine anyway this is the one i've been using it is a little bit too light for me right now, but I feel like this is the only one out of the ones that I own that would work all year round. It is a thicker one. It says it's full coverage, right? Either I have like the most biggest bags known to man because you can still see a little bit of blue. It is heavy, it is thicker, but I blend it out with a brush, not with a sponge on this one and it works fine. It does, I just put it on the most inner part and I like it. I'm glad that Len gave it to me. There's 1.3 grams in it and I'd say this would take forever to use. Up, but that's going back into my drawer oh yeah and then I pulled in this sample to use and this is the Laura Mercier hydrating primer it was only one use and I can't tell you a thing about it one use is just not enough to know so I don't know so but I used it and then the other thing just to mention is I finished the sample set they're all used now and um, I got this from Elaine this is the all-nighter waterproof full coverage concealer I had 
this foundation and I thought it was way too full coverage. It even pilled, it was so full coverage. But I liked this concealer. And this one, oh no, I tried keeping this. I think this was light two to 2.5. I can't remember, it's, it'll be in my empty spin hopefully. This is the one that seemed to work the most. This was too light. I used all of them because I mixed these. So it's finished now and I actually really liked it. And I would purchase this one and maybe this one in the colder months, but it is, it was nice. I really liked it. So now the drawers are rearranged. You're gonna see that in a while. So if you're wondering why I'm calling things out, it's a give it of a giveaway. So this is my only brow product, brow gel that I have currently. This is the Colourpop, Colourpop Brow Boss Gel. I preferred the Annabelle one that Elaine gave me that I finished in fair to medium. This one is grand. It's a clear, it's a, it's not clear. It's, they say it's clear. There is white. So that will come off onto your brow. Do you know what I mean? And then you have to brush through it. It, it does help your brows stay in place. It, it doesn't make your brows crunchy. I do like it. It's just that I preferred the Annabelle one that Elaine gave me. But I finished it and this is the only one I have. If I can find the Essence one, I'll get that. But yeah, I'm actually going to leave this out as well because I don't own another one. Then for, what else did I have in this drawer? I don't think I had anything else. I'll just put back my face palette as well then. My face palette I had in the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow palette in. Love this palette, guys. I love this palette. This bloody though cream blush is going to take me 17,000 years to use. It's going to, like, we know that Danny takes... I think she said, just let's just say it was 120. I can't remember what she said, but I think it took her 120 uses to hit pan. And then Paulina has like one of the best shot mustaches I've ever watched. Actually, I love Mariella's as well. But anyway, Paulina was saying, I think she said she used hers over 100 times and no joy yet, not even a dip. Now I use a kind of a beauty blender sponge. I don't even have a remote dip in this, but this palette is, I believe about 40 quid, 40 euros, I think. I bought it on Feel Unique. You can get a 10% discount on Feel Unique if you allocate a brand as your favorite. You get six months, so I think that's what I did. This is really, really nice. I love this highlighter. It's a cream highlighter. If you could get that on its own, I would buy it. This cream or powdered blush is beautiful. It is pigmented. Ugh, it is stunning though. I generally don't like pigmented blushes. This is a glowy blush, so if you're not into it glow, you're not gonna like it. This highlighter, I normally really hate anything with glitters in it for in terms of highlighter, but I do like this one. The, the texture of this is just so aesthetic. Anyway, I love this palette. I think it's really good and I really enjoy it. It's very, very nice. It'd want to be for the price, but you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I don't know where I had this stored, but this is my Inglot powder. Kind of, It's meant to be for your face, your eyes and your body, but I use this on my body whenever I'm tan. So I've been leaving this out for a couple of months, but just that I'd mentioned this is in the shade 01. It is a very sparkly thing and I put it on my decollete and or my legs if I'm going somewhere. And it gets use every summer pretty much. It, I don't know when these things would expire to be honest with you. I have it a few years now, but I'm leaving it out. But I just wanted to mention that it's still, it's still in the running to become America's next top model. Where do I get this from? Okay, for lip products, I had rolled this in from Elaine. Uh, this is the Becca Glow Gloss in, what shade are you in? Tiger Lily. So I got this from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. This, this, why do I keep seeing these? This is so pigmented. It's very pigmented. So I find with pigmented glosses, I generally just wear them on their own with a lip liner. I always wear a lip liner. Because it has so much pigment, you can't see anything underneath. There is a smell. I have... If you're new to my channel, I have lost my smell for about a year, just over a year now. I have a little bit of it back, but not much. It's it's not what it used to be. And it's not, it's not, it's very hard to, uh, it's just not really there. And I can smell a smell off of this. So it smells like weed, like plants, weeds, you know, weeds, something like that, or mint. That's what I'm getting. So if I'm getting it, it must be a strong scent. So if you have a, a prone to migraines with scents or anything like that, I know this brand is going out of business, but there is a, there is a scent off it and I imagine it's strong if I can smell it. I don't mind it. I like it. Um, I love the color of this. This is, I have it on today and I actually lied. I have it on over a brown lipstick because it's given this weird coral shine and I really like this. It's a nice formula. It's a bit sticky, but it's not as sticky as this. So this is obviously better. So anyway, I'm putting this back, but I enjoyed using it. Oops, wrecking the place. Oh, for eye primers, I had rolled in this sample. This is the Smashbox Prime Lid in color. There is so much 
I'm working on a primer as well. There is just, I don't want to get this everywhere. I have a little towely thing beside me anyway, because I always destroy myself. There's just so much product in here, so I'm going to keep using it. I have it on today. It's the first only used it today. I have no idea what it'll do for the longevity, so I'll let you know the next time, because I'm going to keep it in, because obviously I'm not putting that back until I finish it. But in terms of how it, it makes your makeup apply, it makes your makeup apply gorgeous. Now, will it actually help my oily, oily lids? Let's see. It does color correct. It does color correct. Really nice in terms of its color. I'm going to leave that there because I'll put it back in a minute. Then the other lip product I had in, oh Lord, where is the lip product gone? Oh there, sorry. I had in this Givenchy sample set because I'm working on uh, finishing a lipstick as well. And I've only used this color here so far because I'm working on finishing a lipstick. Yeah, it's 215 Neo Nude. This color, guys, is stunning. This color is stunning. I'm so grateful to, to have received this from Ilen because I would never, like, you know, Buying an expensive lipstick is tough for my mental state, but if I saw matte, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but it's not really matte, to be quite honest with you, and it doesn't last very long at all. It doesn't last. I thought it would, I don't know, in my mind, it would have lasted ages because I imagine it would be really expensive, but I would buy this particular shade. I would 100% buy, but that's going to take me a while to finish it. Lipsticks take ages, so I'm going to keep this in, um, and I need to use these other two, but I was not trying to rush so there's that that's going to stay in here so for highlighter i had in two i had in this ofra highlighter this is in rodeo drive and i would probably buy all in minis if i could because there's four grams in this i take forever to use a highlighter this is a lovely highlighter it's quite intense i have it on today it's actually quite intense and i'm not really into intense as much that's why i kind of i'm going to miss becca because it has a nice smooth formula and it's not as intense as Ofra. But yeah, this is going back in. It's a nice shade. It works on my skin tone. I am not normally as, this This is fake tan on me right now. But that's the color of it there. And then I also had in this, I was actually, this was the chopping block item. So this is good to know. This is Gold Pop from Becca. I thought this was going to be far too deep for me. It's not, not when I'm wearing fake tan. So it's fine for me. I have I think a bit of a dip. A bit of an old dip, guys. I had to repress it because it came absolutely a shattered. But I'm glad I've been using it. It's a nice, it's a really nice product. I really like this. It is a smooth, creamy powder and it doesn't accentuate texture. All I find with my textured skin, all highlighters accentuate it. But this is better than Ofra for texture, in my humble opinion. Obviously, it's quite humble, okay? So just I'm just talking about my own skin. Then I had this blush in. It's from Colourpop and Kathleen Lights, and it's in the shade Cell Retrograde. I only ever can wear this in when I have a tan. It, I don't like pigmented blushes. If I am ever watching YouTubers, I really hope always there's a talking point whether whether how pigmented it is because I'm just not buying things that are pigmented blush. I don't like pigmented blush. This is extremely pigmented, but I just love the shade. But you just barely need to just barely tap it onto you because it is so pigmented. But it's just such a unique color. It's an orange with a gold shift and it is glowy. It is glowy. It doesn't leave sparkles on your cheek though. I really like it. I wish to God I bought a compact on, at the time, but I don't have one and there's no space in my palettes. I did a humongous declutter. Then I had in this contour powder from Banana from the Bam, the Bahama Mama. I've been using this for so long, guys, and there's not anything in terms of pans. So this would be very good value for money. I think I paid 21 euros for this when I got it, but this lasts a long time. You only need a very, very small bit. I've heard people say it can be muddy and not blend well. Mine is fine, but it's probably because I really concentrate it back towards the ear almost, you know, and blend upwards. I haven't been liking it as much as I did last year. It's not anything different in terms of formula. Formula, it's just my preference. It looks a bit gray on me. I'm just looking at my face right now because I have it on now. But I'm not at the point where I want to declutter it. I'm happy enough with it. So there's that. And I have decluttered a lot, so it's not like I'm hoarding it or anything. This is the NARS Laguna, and this is beautiful as well. This one I can really mostly wear when I have a bit of a tan. I don't think it would work for me at my fairest. There's I'm meant to be a bit of a gold shift. I didn't really notice that. It is a warmer bronzer, but it is an orange. I hate an orange set, I say, as I probably look really orange right now. But, and it also depends on what settings I use. I'm really amending my settings with the help of you guys. So I could look oranger on camera than I do in person. So just bear that in mind. This is a really nice bronzer. It's very, very expensive. Is it worth the money? Oh, I find it very hard to say anything is worth the money, to be honest. But 
there are drugstore things that are just as good as this, but it's probably the color more so than the formula that makes this unique. But then again, I probably there probably is stuff I just haven't tried it, but it is a regular warmer tone bronzer with a bit of a gold sheen and it is nice and I bought it because of the hype. I'm glad I have it, it's grand. It's grand. Is it the best thing since sliced bread? Nothing can beat sliced bread. But anyway, then for eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. I had in this ColourPop whatever because I kept using it anyway. Oh, I love this palette. I love this palette. I think this is my favorite ColourPop palette because, and I don't mean color story. I mean, it's the, because I just use this one the most. As much as I love color, this is more neutral for me. This is color for a lot of other people, uh, probably. But this is stuff that I would wear when I want to feel pretty rather than look creative. I never want to look creative. I am just creative. I like to play. Whereas this, if I want to look, feel nice, this is the one I wear. Love the shade, not okay. It's so, so pretty. Love this palette. I know people don't really like the formula of Colourpop, but I do. I think it's perfect. It is affordable. In terms of getting it to Ireland, you can get free shipping. I had to pay customs twice out of the six times. It's, I know, it's not that, ex it's still doesn't make it as expensive getting it over here as other things. This is the Warrior by Juvia's Place. Love this color story. The only thing I can say, and obviously <clears throat> just depends on your skin tone and it will go for other palettes depending on your skin tone, but for my skin tone, just a transition shade. Um, I don't have one here. Uh, like that kind of is a bit, a little bit deep for a setting shade, but a little bit light for a transition shade. It's fine. I just mixed the two. That's nitpicking. Um, when I used this before, I found the mattes patchy, but when I used it this round, I did not find them patchy at all. So I think it's a really nice palette. I love the colors in here. This is such juicy, sultry, warm sexiness, isn't it? It's just bloody beautiful. I've been using this shade a pile as well as an inner corner highlight. Um, I can't even tell you which is my favorite shade because I like them all, but it will be between Idia and Dahomey. Obviously, um, I know I, I'm, I'm most likely pronouncing those words incorrectly. That is my ignorance. Um, but the palette itself is absolutely beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I'm really happy I have it. It's, it's it's one of my favorites from, from Juvia's. Is the European website available? They used to sell it in Europe, I think on Beauty Bay, then it, then it went away. Then it went onto Juvia's website and it said, European site coming soon. So is it here yet? I don't know. Is there somewhere for us to buy this? I don't know. But it's a very, very nice palette and I very much enjoy it. I very much enjoy it. And I do recommend that one. Right. It's time, guys. The time has come to shop the old stash. We will do what we can. So the primer is going back in. Now, so this drawer, in terms of, I have 10 Alex drawers and we had makeup in five, six. We had makeup in eight drawers. Now we have makeup in six drawers. So everything is rearranged. I've decluttered a lot and that's fine. So let's start with primers. Nothing has changed since you saw me the last day with primers. God, I haven't even thought this through. What do I want to pull in here? I have a pore filling primer in my project pan, which is basically me. I'm working on a pore filling primer to finish. So I don't want to pull in a pore filling one. You know what? I might roll in this one. I got this one this year as well. And I think I got it for free on Boots with points. If not, it was 12 euros, I think. It's a glass bottle, even though it's small. And this one is the Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating one. And I really enjoyed this. And if you could buy it again in the small, I would. Um, if I finished it. But I'm going to take that out because it's nice. It kind of blurs out your pores a little bit as well. Now, Stuff has changed since the last day. I have gotten new foundations. I know I don't need any foundations, but nothing, as I was saying, nothing matched me. And I was also looking for, I had nothing deep enough then to mix either. Excuse me. And I had, um, I really wanted a skin tint type thing. So there's new foundations here. Um, I should have a haul video up before this, so I'll go through, I'll link that if you're, if you're interested. So let's see, what will I pull in for foundation? Foundations are in here and here. Also, I got this little sample, so I might just use that myself, we'll see. All right, what do I want to pull in? I kind of want to pull this, this one in here, this bear with me one. Or do I pull in one of these? 
because I've used this, I haven't used these yet because the other one was too light for me. So maybe I'll pull, I'll pull in both of these because it will just depend on what my shade is. So I had this before and I decluttered it because I bought it in the shade 10 and it was too light for me. So this one is in 20 fair and 30 light, so we'll see. This uh, is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac. And I got it on a sale, say online, so I didn't pay the same as I did the last time, which it is annoying that I went and bought it again, but I was just so curious. So these two are coming out. They have not been used yet. I just got them. Then for concealer, I had three the last time and I also bought concealers. I finally found the, sh thanks for your help on helping me find some shades. So I've just been using them myself. So the only one I haven't used yet. Okay, so this one I already had and we just put back. These two are the ones I already had. These four are the new ones. Okay, so the only one I haven't used yet is the Born to Glow because I think it could be too light for right now. So I don't really know, like I'm using them all anyway. I'll, ro I'll roll in this one, this Born to Glow one in the shade Light Ivory. I had an awful time trying to find shades online for concealers. I ended up being successful on a website called Care to Beauty. Care to Beauty, and I think it's Portuguese website, which is great. So that's that drawer. Oh no, powder, 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 does whatever a powder powder does. I'm not rolling in these two big yolks because I am already working on a big mass of powder. I just want to roll in my my pressed one since I'm working on a loose one to finish. I rolled that one in, I rolled that one in. I just have to do it guys, I have to do it. Now I rolled this one in the time before, so I'm rolling this in again. I love this. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder in 10 b b b banana Reminds me of Minions from, um, what is the name of that bloody program? Film. Oh, oh my God. What is the name of it? I literally watched it the other day. Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Really like this powder. There's a little bit of kick up. It is smooth and buttery. And I use it underneath my eyes to brighten it and ugh, I love it. I just can't bloody get it anywhere. So irritating. Anyway, that's that drawer. Now everything from here on out is different than what you've ever seen. And I can always change it back again, right? We have face palettes over here and then everything is the same from here over. I just put face palettes over here. I can see everything. I don't know, can you? But it's not like there's stuff pushed back there. I can see everything. There is a little bit of things on top, but I can see. So I want to pull this in because I, I want to. But I also I also want to pull in this NARS Orgasm one because it's new. But I feel like I need to pull this one in. Okay, I'll pull this one in and I'll let you know if I end up using this. So this is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 from Juvia's. This is extremely pigmented. It's extremely pigmented. My favorite shade is this highlighter shade called Zoba, but I just want to get a better feel for the rest of the shade. So I need to pull that one back in and we'll use that. So that's that there. Gosh, what is the story with this? God, it's kind of, I really decluttered a lot there, didn't I? Okay, right. This is just mascaras and brows. I told you before, but I'll say it again. I don't roll in a mascara because I work on them all the time. Eye primer, we're still working on this so that can stay. Brow, I don't need to. I only have this pencil left and a pomade and I'm using one, so that's fine. These products here, I don't want to pull in just yet uh, because I'm, I'm, I'll get there. I'll get there. Now, next door. So the lip product, the lip product drawer is the same. It's in the same place. We just put back this gloss. So these are lipsticks. These are stuff that doesn't fit. Uh, liquid lip is here. And then bullets. The rest of my bullets. So I'm still keeping in the Givenchy lipstick. So I'll just pull in a gloss. Uh, hi ho. Hi ho. I'll pull in two. I'm going to pull in this MAC Vamplify. Vamplify. Feck sake. Vamp la fly. Oh my god. Lamp la fly. <laughs> Vamp la fly. And it's in the shade tuned in. This is meant to be a lip gloss, but it's so pigmented that I just wear it on its own. It's very, very, very deep. So I'm just going to chop and block this to see do I want to keep using it. It's very, very dark. So I'll use it as a lipstick. And then this gloss I got from Elaine as well. And this one is in the shade. In the shade Snapdragon, I swatch things at the end. 
the eyeshadows have moved over here now okay so we have eyeshadows over here we have two drawers still but the other one is much emptier much more empty okay i couldn't get the acrylic out so i used it to hold palettes together that were slightly smaller okay so i'm going to pull in this oh no there is actually something i want to do here and it's prepare for my project my what eyeshadows i want to use next year to finish so i started pulling singles together so i'm going to chopping block these singles but also these singles so i want to roll in these i'll go through them up the top with you but i'm going to roll these in and then i'm going to roll this palette in from juvia's place i got this palette from elaine this is the saharan 2 by juvia's okay so look at that isn't that beautiful such nice colors this one hasn't gotten its fair share of love just yet so I want to pull this one out and this is now my second drawer I keep my samples down here now so it's just the front that's all we've left I know it's still a lot of eyeshadows but you know okay guys so this is now my blush bronzer and highlight drawer so bronzer blush highlight and then cream of everything there can you see in cream of everything so the highlighters are kind of toppling over because they don't have an acrylic because I don't have as many of those as I do anything else. Sorry, a divider. Because I removed them from the acrylic because there wasn't enough to fill it. So it was falling over. Okay, I'm just going to have to hold you because I can't find a way to put you. So did I pull in any face palettes? I did. And it's predominantly blushes. So I won't roll in a blush. No, I will. I will, I will, I will, I will. I will. I can't help it. I lied. I'm rolling this in from Natasha Denona. This is the Love Cheek Duo. It is a cream blush and highlighter. God, maybe I won't roll in a highlighter then. That'll be fair because I'm rolling in. I have enough. I haven't used this yet. I just got it. It looks so stunning. Cream blush on the left and highlighter right up my alley on the right. I decluttered a lot of highlights because they were too icy and we'll see how this one goes. We won't roll in any of the creams this time because I just have too much in. Highlighter then. We put those back. Did we? Why is everything falling over? Now. Bronzer. I have one in a pro. I have two in a. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna roll this in. If now or never, it's you get. I'll get too fair. So this is the Too Faced Pineapple Sun, and here it is. Here, I'm not I, like the highlighter worked the last time, but only barely. It's more the bronzer that I'm rolling it in for. It is in the bronzer section because it's the bronzer that I use it for. So that is that, and I'm gonna roll that in. No. Okay, so it's time for swatches. So let's start with this palette here from Juvia's. It's the Blush Volume 2. So here's my hand here. I don't know if they're the best swatches, but Tau, T-I-U, is the first swatch you can see here. Under The next one down is Lena, the pink one. Then we have the brownie looking one is Yara, and then B is the purple one here. They're matte. These two very shimmery are Sola and Zoba. Will I use this as a blush topper, perhaps? So that's what they are. They're very pigmented. I know not blushes can be taken with a pinch of salt in terms of swatches, by the way. And then we swatched this on this hand. So this is the Love Duo from, yeah, the Love Cheek Duo from Natasha Denona and the highlighter and the blush. The cream felt nice, actually. This looks really nice, doesn't it? It's like a pink gold shift. So I'm looking forward to using that. So that's that one. And then they, this here is these two here. So that actually looks much better on my skin now. I don't know if you can see, but there it is there. Okay, and then for eyeshadows, so I'm trying to decide. I don't know if you'd find this boring, but since I'm working on two eyeshadow palettes to use up, um, it takes ages. I still have shades left, and I probably will have shades left next year. So I'm trying to predominantly work on singles that... Uh, are older or that I'd be happy to use up and I pulled these out and I just want to chopping block them so these this one here is actually a repressed shadow from a makeup revolution palette that I had that I didn't want to get rid of the shade so I repressed it into here and I want to chopping block this I'm thinking I could use this as a highlighter I tend to use mostly eyeshadows as highlighters lately for for a while now so this is the shade I want to pull in. It was in a place palette called Stripped and Bare, I believe. This is with the shade with Pan is the shade Stephanie from Violet Voss. You know the big massive one with your names in it? Was it the Holy Grail or was it the Ride or Die? I believe it was the Ride or Die. This, I don't know the name of this. These are 
from Natasha Denona. I can check. I think I can check. They came as like a sample size. So these are magnetic. This one here, this one here, and this one here. I can check. I have it on my spreadsheet. Sorry, four of them. One, two, three, and four are from Natasha Denona and they're the smaller pans. And then this is from the same palette again. I don't know the shade of this, but it's a person's name. And then these two. These four aren't magnetic. I want to chopping block them. I know I love the shade Stephanie. I know that this brown shade is unique in my collection. I kept it because I swatched all of my brown shimmers. So then it's just really between these two, I suppose. But anyway, I want to use them between now and the next time just to get a feel on whether or not I want to, you know, pan them next year. At least hit pan. At least that. And anything I want to declutter, I want to make sure and check. And then this. So the yellow... Let me, oh yeah, that's something I wanted to check. This is the only matte true yellow I have in my collection. It's from Sleek. I depotted it. So I, I never compared it to the Pastel Dreams yellow. So let me just check that. Because I have no like true yellow and I do actually use it. Not a whole ton, but I use it a lot as like a statement inner corner highlight. That's why I kept it. Is that similar? Ugh. It's not, is it? But it's not the same yellow as the one in my Be Perfect either. I don't want to pan it, but it is my oldest shade in my whole collection. I just want to get use out of it. It's just here. These three then are from Makeup Geek. This is Chickadee. This is, oh, what is it called? Chocolate Bear, Cocoa Bear. So the shade is called Maca, and then this one must be called Cocoa Bear then, is it? Preppy. This is Okay, so they're from Makeup Geek and they're my oldest shades. I'm going to chopping block these and see what the story is. They're just your regular shades there. I love this shade here, the one that's called Stephanie. These are always my favorite shades. People say that Violet Boss shadows aren't that pigmented, but look at that, like that's huge, be pigmented. Okay, this one here is probably not as much. Oh, that one feels weird to the touch. This brown one then is so shimmery, oh my goodness. See, that's not something I want to wear all the time. I just want to wear it some of the time. This one then, I probably have, I swatched all of the shades in my collection and I didn't have a like for like match on that one. Could I get rid of this? You know, this one then looks nice as well. Ooh, look at that. That one is from Natasha Denona. It's gorgeous. These red shades are stuff that I like. I'm wiping my hand in between swatches if you're wondering what I'm doing. And then this is a beautiful, beautiful color. Did I swatch everything? Did I swatch this? People screaming at me like, you missed one. Look, it's really beautiful, isn't it? But do you get bored or do you get, like, I don't, I'm not offended. You're not going to annoy me either way. Do you enjoy looking at people pan that palette of singles? If I was doing it, I would leave all empty pans in the palette. I hate when people remove them. I want to see. But anyway. That is the story with this. I want to chopping block it. It's probably a very long winded way of saying that. Let's see what I want to keep. This is the Saharan 2 by Juvia's and I just want to use this bad boy. I just want to use her. She deserves the love. Oh, so gorgeous. <gasps> Holy crap. Look at that. Uh, if you're a mermaid, if that your profession is a mermaid, I think this is for you. Oh my God. God. See, the only thing is I haven't, I think it's because I wore the Be Perfect so much that I have been more into like neutrals lately. So we'll see what happens here. Oh my God. Holy mother of the divine Lord. God has blessed this. All right, this is, oh my God. Oh my God, out of curiosity, what would this look like over this? Oh my God, it turns into the shade beside it kind of, doesn't it? Just curious, so I was, have I swatched? Does that look similar? to the one over here. Like, I'm not gonna declutter a Natasha Denona eyeshadow. No. You're gonna say they're the same, aren't you? Are they going to achieve the same on the eye? I'll do this on one eye and this on the other eye and see. Because this one here is the Violet Voss one, the old one. So that's the story with that. Please, if you think of it, to let me know what your thoughts are on panning a single eyeshadow palette. Then we have these two glosses from, uh, this one's from Becca and this one's from Mac. Just close this in case I dig a nail into it. So these are pigmented, so I'll be wearing them on their own. Look at that, look. That looks like a nice color there. Haven't used it yet, because I just got it from Elaine. 
And then this one is from MAC in the shade Tuned In. I think this was limited edition, so you won't be able to get it. But MAC always have similar. Like, look how pigmented that is. I hope I can figure out my settings because it's very dark in person. I store my lip products in here on my desk. So now let's put everything away. <laughs> Okay guys, so I know this doesn't look ideal, but normally what I do is I leave a thing out here with my makeup brushes on it so that I don't destroy the table and I clean it. And then I'm panning these two and this will be, so I can just reach for these, it's fine. These palettes are the ones I'm panning and then the ones that are too big for my drawer. They probably wouldn't be now that I've cleared out the drawers. But I just like to leave them up there. So anyway, I leave that there. And as I make a decision, I'll put them away. Anyway, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.